Welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. If you want to um, follow me on Twitter and check out my other channels as well as my live stream, check that all out. It's in the description in the comments. We're going to talk about how Donald Trump could actually make crypto great again. Now, he might not make America great again, MAGA, but he might make crypto great again, which is just as well for all of us who are waiting for Lambos and Moons in this market. I'm going to tell you how that actually works. And I'm going to also tell you about a warning that may not make crypto so great again and will affect the greater economy. But let's talk about this first. They are printing a lot of US dollars, but that's actually not the reason uh, that it will make crypto great again. A lot of people think this will be some kind of economic reset. The dollar will fall, it will go into hyperinflation, but that's really not going to happen because the US dollar is in higher demand than ever. In fact, countries like Lebanon are actually going under because we're not printing enough of the US dollar rather than more of the US dollar. They can't get their hands on enough USD to actually support their currency. Now, there will be a bit of an inflationary problem after this is all over and there's a glut of US dollars, but that problem is not going to lead to hyperinflation. It might lead to people actually like, you know, exiting their uh, USD positions into other assets and that might pump up crypto a bit, but that's not even the main reason. You know what the main reason actually is? It's because of the interest rates. Now, Trump says negative interest rates are a quote unquote gift. It's not really a gift. We all know that in the long term, ne negative interest rates will lead to disaster. Uh, people won't keep any in savings and they'll look for other assets um, to actually generate interest, i.e. crypto. Now, the thing is you might think, well, this, this is only temporarily negative interest rates. They'll raise the interest rates up. No, no, no. See, politicians are all about short term benefits in exchange for long term detriments. And Donald Trump's definitely no exception. He is the one that actually defines that rule. He's not really a long term person. He's more about short term benefits, um, especially uh, politically. So the thing is, once the uh, interest rates actually kick up and the economy starts rolling again, if it does start rolling, the he's not going to want to raise them. And I don't even, it doesn't even matter if Joe Biden or whoever wins, as long as he gets to the negative interest rates, I don't think any politician is going to really have the political will to raise the interest rates again. I think you're going to have a better chance of like Joe Biden or Andrew Cuomo, if he ends up being the Democratic nominee, rising the interest rates in the short term than Donald Trump. But I don't even think they will really have the political will to do it because everyone knows that if you raise the interest rates, at least temporarily, you're going to be in for a bit of shock and pain for the economy. I don't know if any politician will want to risk part of their career for that. I, I suppose Biden actually might because he's kind of he's getting kind of old and he's getting definitely towards the end of his career. So he might not have that much to protect. But the thing is, even him, I doubt, I don't know if he'll have the, such the political will to do it. Our interest rate needs to be back up in the four or 5% uh, area eventually to control like monetary policy. But I don't really think any president uh, will have the balls to actually do that, even though it's what needs to be done. So because of that, people are going to look to other assets to um, actually diversify their money so their money doesn't lose money in the bank. So that's why people will go towards crypto, especially for the staking, which will provide them with a nice six plus percent on their investment return. See, as long as your interest rates are positive, if there were four or five percent, people would rather just keep their money in the bank. But if they're like zero percent or negative percent, then obviously people are not going to want to keep their money in the bank. And that's going to that's what's going to cause, I think, eventually a lot of money to flow into crypto. The 30 year T bonds, the rates are like crap right now. They're one percent. So fund managers, when they look at that, they're like, well, you know what? We're going to at least put some of our money in crypto. And even one percent of their money is like hundreds of billions of dollars. So just that small change in the next few years could flow trillions of dollars into cryptocurrency. And that's why I'm pretty confident crypto in the next few years will actually grow. It doesn't really matter to me if it's actually Bitcoin or not. And that's why Donald Trump, because he's actually all about the uh, short term benefits for the economy and he won't raise interest rates. That's why I think he will make crypto great again. Now, it's not going to be very good for America, so he's not going to be making America great again, but he will be making crypto great again. Now, the one big risk is the, the dropout of the economy. And one of the British officials actually warned of this. He actually said this could be the greatest depression that uh, the UK 
had in 300 years. Uh, he might be exaggerating about that because that includes the Great Depression, obviously, and several famines that uh, the country has in the last 300 years. I mean, 300 years stretches back all the way back to 1720 when the United States didn't even exist. We were still a colony under Great Britain. And the greatest depression uh, in the last 300 years will definitely completely devastate the economy and it will not make crypto great again because at that point crypto will pretty much get destroyed just like every other asset class maybe besides gold so uh, we have that to watch out for if it's really like that but I don't think we'll really get to that point yes the unemployment's pretty bad and CNBC actually does report that 10% of retail demand might just be gone for good but overall, I don't think we'll go to that point and we'll, I think we'll start recovering at least, if not later this year, at least starting next year. So that's the report for right now. Let me know what you think. That's why I think crypto is definitely going to go up in the next few years. And uh, regardless of what it does in the next month or two, it might go up, it might go down. But in the uh, next several years, I do believe it's going to go up because Donald Trump wants to make America great again. He's not going to make America great again, but his low interest rates or negative interest rates are going to make crypto great again. Thank you and have a nice day.